Hi everyone. This is Marthi Reddy. Welcome to Eagle Nine Visa Consultants. Today in this video, I am going to explain you and show you five different payment modes we are having to pay embassy fees through this new CJ portal. And we are going to enter into each mode of payment and see how the transaction portal looks like, how the payment gateway look like, and I will also suggest you my preferred way of paying embassy fees. So let's log in into an account and see various methods of fee payment through this new CJ portal. I am logging into an account and uh, I am entering security answers. We have reached home page here. I am going to continue option now so that we directly go to fee payment options and I will in this video the important topic is what are what are the five different ways of uh, payment of fees we have and uh, we enter into each payment mode and see what kind of payment gateway options we get and what kind of mode of payments we can do so i'm going to continue option here uh, see the payment options we are uh, having so we have Citibank, vfs credit card debit card vfs upi drug bank cash vfs eft We'll see, we'll enter into each option and see what uh, what kind of uh, payment options we'll get. So first I'm going to Citibank Cash. Okay, it is showing our reference number and now what is the amount and the expiry, slip expiry on. So I'm clicking on Cash EFT Deposit Slip. So this is how uh, uh, the city cash option uh, pay, uh, payment mode is looking like we have to take print out of this we have a barcode here and it, uh, clearly our payment reference number is mentioned expiry date is mentioned this expiry date uh, means like uh, after august 6 again we have to generate a new receipt because embassy fees will keep on changing based on the dollar value so once this kind of uh, 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 date is given always better regenerate the receipt and pay it within the expiry date and um, total uh, amount and remaining balance to be paid cash payment account number is not given because this is a uh, deposit slip we have to take print out of this go to any city bank or axis bank branches and pay the fees so wherein we physically go take print out of this physically go to city bank or axis bank and pay by cash and they will give us receipt the same method how we used to have in our US uh, previous US uh, uh, travel docs. Now we are having uh, along with barcode and this is our reference number. Okay, so we have to just take print of it and we can make the payment. So now again I just wanted to go back. We already have a, a payment detail, our login details here and i am again going back to single family payment option so that i can again see the payment types now i am going to vfs credit card debit card option and we'll see uh, how the interface looks like and uh, how the gateway payment gateway looks like so after i'm selecting vfs credit debit card uh, again uh, the same instructions have come about our uh, reference number and the fee details I am going to click here to pay with credit debit card it is redirecting us to visa.vfs global so vfs global is handling the payments uh, for a uh, US embassy vfs vfs global uh, uh, page open and it is asking to enter our uh, name So these are all mandatory fields where you have to enter our first name, last name and uh, email id are mandatory. Then we have to go to proceed to pay. So again these are all generalized instructions uh, they are giving. They are telling that it will take at least 2 hours of uh, time uh, uh, whether to understand whether the payment is successful or not it takes 2 hours of time. And uh, if the payment has not been detected, wait for two hours, then create a new appointment before making another payment. 
if a payment has been deleted from your bank account but VFS has failed to confirm your appointment, kindly reach out to VFS support for requesting for refund. This is again a good useful information and other instructions they have given and I am going to continue option here. So here the gateway uh, has opened and um, order number and amount and it is asking for uh, a shipping address also. So most of the time shipping address can be our home address. Better enter our home address only. I have entered my office address here. So we have credit card option, we have debit card option and by entering that we can just go ahead with the payment we will receive OPT based on the security uh, uh, thing your card has and then the it, uh, payment will be deducted so this is all about credit and debit card okay so entering uh, name and uh, our home address or our uh, uh, mailing address is very important here it's mandatory field so again I am cancelling this option and going to another mode of payments so when we are cancelling the, um, when we are trying to cancel this page, uh, it is asking for cancellation feedback. So why you are cancelling this uh, payment? And I am I'm just uh, going to check. I wish to pay through another payment uh, uh, option, and I am going to cancel transaction or else continue payment. I am going to cancel transaction. <coughs> okay. So now the uh, instruction came that sorry your transaction is failed please retry payment after 30 minutes okay and again I am going to uh, the tab here uh, where uh, our US uh, uh, profile is available and uh, I am again going back to singular family payment option and we will go to another uh, option called VFS UPI this is my favorite uh, mode of making payment very comfortable easy and uh, receipt is getting activated instantly so I have already made a video uh, of this and uh, you can check how to make the payment I have made the payment and uh, receipt got activated instantly so that's the best way of making payment is what I strongly believe instead of going to Axis Bank and City Bank and waiting for uh, 24 hours and then worried about whether the receipt gets activated or not if receipt is not activated again we have we are forced to contact customer care they never respond properly for us so uh, in these two to three days i got a lot of uh, complaints stating that i paid at Axis bank i paid at uh, uh, city bank i paid through neft and uh, imps uh, till now the receipts are not activated so uh, i suggest why to take that risk at, at this moment when uh, uh, new cj portal is not fully functional UPI payment fee receipts are getting activated. I did many payments through UPI process and uh, receipts are getting activated. So here I am going to click here to pay with UPI option and again it is redirecting to visa vfs global.com. Again this same page with the uh, reference fee payable and payment expiry date came and we have to again enter our name. So we have, if you have dependents also, you have to enter the primary applicant's uh, uh, data here. So again, uh, um, payment disclaimer scheme. You can just go through this uh, uh, payment disclaimer. Uh, one important payment disclaimer they are trying to give is like uh, payment cancel. If your payment is cancelled after reaching the payment gateway, you will come back to review and pay page where you can try to make another payment. Okay. Payment declined. If a payment is declined, there might be many reasons why the payments are declined. O OTP might be incorrect, funds are insufficient, or reaching the maximum uh, spend limit or, or on your credit card or debit card. And another important, do not close the browser before returning to the VFS confirmation page. Click the back button on the browser while making the payment. Do not click the back button on the browser while making a payment. Okay. So I am going with continue option here. Here again uh, it is asking for uh, name.
so I'm entering the address here so here if you uh, if you choose you can choose variety of options here you can choose BHIM and uh, so go with your uh, uh, if you have uh, you pay uh, ID for BHIM you can enter it if you have a uh, phone pay YBL uh, comes so you, your ID at the rate of YBL if you have GPay if you have Paytm if you have WhatsApp if you have any other uh, UPI any other bank UPI also we can enter it so the moment we enter it and we submit it a message comes to our phone a link comes to our phone and we can directly pay the payment that that is what, how we um, day to day we are making payments uh, so there is another good option here which I strongly recommend and I have made a video and made a payment in that video and the receipt also got activated instantly it's a very easy process that is pay by QR code so the moment we select pay by QR code and make payment a simple QR code comes just open any of your uh, app go to uh, QR code read the QR code pay the fees so there is no confusion at all the moment we make the payment uh, it will read uh, redirect and says that uh, our receipt is active activated I am putting that screenshot for you to for your understanding and once we go to home page back again and then we go to continue option and we will see the option called activate your fee receipt once you press that your fee is activated so this is how variety of fee payment options are there uh, in our new CJ portal okay and now I am not doing this payment I am going back uh, to our payment details option to show you another modes of payment again I am going to single family payment option here uh, what is Durk bank cash payment option we'll see what is this about so again this, this same in, uh, information came and then uh, I'm clicking on the receipt it is same like uh, uh, paying at Axis Bank or uh, uh, City Bank take print out of this go to any Axis Bank or City Bank pay by cash and they will give you a receipt um, so th this is also the same mode of payment now again I'm going back I'm going to single family payment option and I am going to the last option called VFS EFT see let's see what this uh, type of payment is okay I'm again uh, click here to pay with EFT again directing redirecting us to visa VFS global.com and uh, here again it is asking for our uh, data I'm going to proceed to pay option and then I'm going to continue option so we are directing this is the uh, payment gateway came and uh, this is NEFT and uh, RTGS mode of payment so I have entered name and the address and now let's go to option called view and print chalan so this is the uh, mode of NEFT and uh, RTGS mode of payments so they are providing us with uh, our order ID beneficiary is AVEP so previously it used to be Bana Mumbai US Villa SFA now it is AVEP and account number previously it used to be tire so tire and the numbers now it is AVEP -E -E and the number IFSC code is ICICI bank Mumbai branch through NEFT mode we can add these details of uh, bank account IFSC code before it used to be Bank of America now ICICI is handling it uh, NEFT and RTGS mode of payment is this so we can take print out of it add to our online bank account send uh, the fee exact fees via NEFT or RTGS so thanks a lot friends and uh, hope this video has helped you to understand uh, different uh, payment modes available in this uh, new CJ portal and uh, make the payments get your receipts activated and uh, hopefully soon you will get your appointment date thank you so much for watching and I will be making more videos